This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron. Today I want to take a look at something um, that uh, concerns one of the games I really, really love. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and, 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 and I'm a big uh, solo dungeon crawl type of fan here. Um, but I, I think uh, in, in the last couple of years, uh, between D100 Dungeon and 4 Against Darkness, Right, I consider some of the best games I've ever played. Today we're going to be taking a look at a supplement for 4 Against Darkness. Now 4 Against Darkness and, and what Andrea has been able to do is absolutely make this incredibly beautiful experience that is a never-ending tale. Something that, that, that just stands out. But the more he gets into it, the deeper it gets along with the other people that have helped him along. And today we're going to be taking a look at layers, dens, and burrows. Burrows, yes. Now what this is, is it's, it's short adventures. So maybe you don't have time to sit down and get into some of, you know, you know like Quest of the Lizard Men or, or any, and any of the other fantastic supplements that they have out there uh, for against Ragnarok. Check that one out. That's a, a beauty on top of it. This one here is kind of built like you could play it. Well, I have this long adventure. I don't have time this week, but I know I can do seven rooms. It's And, and, and each adventure is anywhere from seven to eight rooms. Some of them have you come out of the adventure uh, after you get beat up a bit and then go into, uh, on your way back to town, go back into a dungeon and deal with it. You. It's a very simplified but very rewarding uh, adventure. And um, what it does, there's a, a number of different adventures that are just fantastic. And we're going to go down to the table. I'm going to open it up. I don't want to spoil anything. I hate spoiling stuff. But I want to give you a bit of a feel for it. And make sure that you go to Drive Through RPG, go download it today, and you will find that this is so enjoyable because of the variances of each of the levels. Let's go down to the look. best thing about this game. It's the power of the pencil, folks. Power of the pencil. That's the most expensive part that you need of this sometimes. Uh, Lairs, Dens, and Burrows is just, it's a short adventure. And you're going to have a number of different adventures. Again, I don't want to give away too much stuff, but uh, what it talks about right here, and I, I really want to open this up and, and, and give you an idea of what he had and planned for this particular supplement. This supplement, uh, a few short thematic dungeons or outdoor encounters that do not require mapping. These short adventures are meant to be played when you do not have enough time for a long mission, which is ingenious. You'd think something as simple as that, anybody would think that up. I would have never thought of that. These short adventures are meant to, you know, like I said, to be played when you don't have a lot of time uh, each should give you a play time of about anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, which is perfect, keeping things nice and tight, which is kind of good for the channel if we wanted to pop one of these in. Um, some of these are just absolutely ingenious, and I'm just going to talk about this first adventure right here uh, on the way home. So you just get through maybe playing uh, a long adventure, and you go, okay, I'm going to play again next week, but I'm going to go into this because... You don't heal up. It's like you're leaving that adventure and you're going home, but you find this adventure on the way back. Now, there are a number of different uh, uh, adventures here that are really fantastic, such as uh, Lair of the Gray, or Gray Orcs. You know, uh, you run into something on your way through. Uh, it has special all the tables for it. For it. You're going to play anywhere from, from um, seven to eight rooms. Okay, and in the last three rooms, you want to make sure that you are going into rooms, not corridors. So there's going to be a, a, a thing uh, in the rules that you re-roll until you get rooms, um, uh, especially um, on some of these things, because your last room is always your boss. You're going to run into mana cores, which, again, I don't want to 
give too much away. Old man gave me this map. Okay, well that that tells you there's nothing nothing good going to happen there. Nix, uh, uh, Nixie in in wineskin, which I haven't played that one yet, but we will definitely check that one out. So I can't tell you anything. And the ivy color hole, and as you can see, they even kind of give you a way of what you're going to encounter as you come into all these areas. And just quick, easy adventures, maybe something to, to find some extra uh, equipment or maybe even, even help level up a little bit because, hey, we all need a little XP in our life. So another ingenious and phenomenal job by our good friend. There's uh, How many adventures are there in here? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine new adventures. Very affordable. Very good. Let's send this up top. Okay. A quick look at Lairs, Dens, and Boroughs for probably one of the greatest games ever made, Four Against Darkness. Let's head on top and get my final thoughts. This is a game that, you know, I, I think I invested totally so far hundred dollars okay um, just being honest um, you know be, besides you know you know buying the game you, you know the book you know uh, going to uh, uh, dungeon uh, um, uh, drive through uh, drive through RPG and downloading you know paying maybe four to ten bucks a supplement and you know probably over a hundred bucks this is giving me more enjoyment than some $150 Kickstarter with all kinds of bells and whistles and miniatures and stuff like that. This immerses you. This is such an easy system to understand. Taking care, you could play it with one player or four players. I'm telling you, go get Four Against Darkness. It's one of the best systems out there. And you will not be disappointed because of all the fantastic experiences that you have. It's it's a very rewarding, immersive, and passionate system that I think you'll like. And this supplement here is 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 just ingenious because there are just times I go, well, man, you know, I don't know if I can sit down with with, with all these characters and and put two hours into this. I've got a lot going on, and where I can take this in probably about forty five minutes get as much of a rewarding experience as I would playing any of the other fantastic, wonderful expansions for this fantastic series. Go check this out. It's very affordable. If you haven't played 4 Against Darkness, shame on you. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. Again, if you don't like playing alone, give a person a character. Okay? Very easy. One person controls the book, everybody else controls and rolls their own fate, okay? Or if you are somebody that just don't like people, hey, this is this is made, tailor-made for you. Again, Andrea, you're the best. Go check this out. This one's a real winner, folks. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, it's your old pal, Ron. We'll see you soon.